Welcome back to PSC's Tech Bytes. This is the last episode about uh, developing Office scripts uh, in Excel Online and Microsoft 365. And I want to explain you how you can rely on the fetch command of JavaScript and TypeScript in order to consume an external API. However, you need to keep into account that when you do that, uh, you cannot execute your Office script inside Power Automate, as well as you cannot rely on open authorization or on any uh, other kind of uh, settings stored outside of the OSI script uh, because you can only hard code your settings or your credentials unless you rely on an external API to get these settings from an external system. Moreover, you cannot rely on cookies or local or session storage. That said, it is still quite a powerful functionality and I want to share with you how you can do that in practice. So, here I am in Excel Online and I have a really basic uh, uh, spreadsheet in which I can simply write uh, the symbol of a stock in the very first cell, A1, and then I can run a script which will rely on an external API to retrieve all of the uh, stats about the weekly uh, series for this stock symbol. How does it work? Well, let me edit the script and I can show you. First of all, I'm going to use the fetch command, which is an asynchronous one. So I made my function asynchronous and the result will be promise of void or promise of something if you want to return something specific. Then I get, like always, a reference to the worksheet where I am and I simply get the value in the cell A1 to see what is the stock that I need to look for. Then I just define the title of my columns in the table. And then finally, I rely on the fetch command to make a fetch targeting an external API. Right here, I'm using just a, a free one for demo purposes with the demo API, which is the Alpha Vantage one, but could be anything else of your choice. Then once I've got the output, let me show you what kind of output we get when we run this kind of command. So let me copy this URL and let me open it in a new tab. As you can see here, if I will replace the stock variable with the actual stock symbol, we can see that the output, the JSON output, will look like this one. So we will have the weekly adjusted time series and for every uh, week we will have the open eye, low, close and so on and so forth values. So here what we uh, have is a weekly series interface that I defined, which will define the weekly adjusted time series uh, property, which will be a dictionary where the ID will be the date, and the actual content will be yet another instance of an interface that I define right here with all of the values that I'm interested in. So that when I make my fetch query, I can then get the JSON result of the uh, response that I've got from the API, and I can get the reference to the weekly adjusted time series. I can get all of the properties, which will be all of the uh, dates in my result. And for each of them, I simply get the open, the eye, the low, the close, and the volume. And I set them in a range, a dynamic range that I built right here, so that I can select in the sheet that specific range, and I can set the values for all of the columns in my table. Uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I will simply show the very first 20 items to speed up the process. And then once I'm done, I can select the whole table, I can make it right, like a real table in Excel, and then I can also configure the uh, format of data inside the open eye, low and close uh, uh, columns as a uh, currency with the dollar uh, symbol. And that's it. So really simple and straightforward, but you can easily consume an external API from an Office script. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.